What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to set up a material with some textures in it. As you can see I've got quite a few examples here. Now if we actually look at the texture itself, you'll see it's relatively simple. There's a lot more you could do to this, but right now we're just going to be setting up the basics of basically getting the four textures in and plugging them in. These textures will consist of base color, roughness, normal map, and your AA map. So, let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the website. You're going to be downloading your texture. I'm using Megscans. So you can use whatever you want. Um, I personally am just going here just of ease of use for the tutorial. So I'm just going to download this Roman cobblestone wall. I'm going to set it to 2K because I don't want it to be super high detailed. Obviously for video games, you'll try to keep this on the lower end. If you're making this site for rendering purposes, you might want to go up to 8K. Go into your folder, extract it. Stone wall, which is extracted it, stone wall here. And you'll have all of these textures. Now, I'm only going to be using albedo, which is your base color, AO, normals, and roughness. We're not using the displacement today. So if I grab all four of those, go into the engine, just drag those in. So what that will look like, it will create a folder for it as well like Roman cobblestone. Oh, I spot Roman wrong, but that's fine. There you go. And if we just go that being dragged in, so from here, drag and drop. Now, I'm gonna quickly duplicate this guy. And the first thing you can do is you can just drag your albedo straight onto the surface. You can also right click and create material, which will do the same thing. But this will not have any of the other maps on it yet. This is just going to be your albedo or base color. If I double click on it, you'll see that's all that's set up. What you've got to do is click these maps. So you can drag one in, one in at a time if you want. Or if you click the first one, hold shift to click the last one. Just do them all. If you hold control, click one at a time. Drag those in. Now let's get some space for it. We've got our roughness. So all you've got to do is basically find the pin that says what your map says. So we've got roughness, plug into roughness, but normals. Plug into normals, and we got albedo or AO, it says there, Let's not drag too far away. And plug into your ambient occlusion. Align these so they look a bit neater. There you go, very, very neat. And uh, that's basically set up. Now I'll click apply and we can have a quick look at it. And we can see that it might not look quite right. Now, this actually doesn't look too wrong, but there's two things that will usually be a problem when importing. Um, a roughness map and sometimes a normal map. So this doesn't actually look too shiny in this case, but a lot of times your roughness map will need to be set to a linear color. So if we go into color here, so just click on it, color, linear color, and then double click the texture like I just did and turn off sRGB. And then replug it in and click apply. Now, ours didn't look too shiny. But if your texture happens to look too shiny, that's usually for that reason. So just make sure to go into your roughness, turn off sRGB and set it to linear color. Next is the normal map. Now, the normal map doesn't look wrong, but if you actually so you click your normal map, click your texture, come into here, type in green or flip. Sort of, you, you want to get flip green channel. So you can type in any of those words. If you scroll down, you can actually find it. Leave us under here. Uh, flip green channel. If we tick that button, as we're looking at the texture, we can see the change it makes. Flip green channel. See that? That just sort of it. Well, it flips the green channel of your normal map. So if you feel like your normals aren't looking quite right, that may be the reason. It doesn't look too wrong either or, but usually or. A, Depending on where you get your textures from, you'll have to flip your normals. If we actually look at this texture over here, this one looked better with its normals flipped. So if we come into here on my other monitor, if we look at them now, if I flip them, they kind of look inverted now. Now they're back to normal. And this is flipped, and this is not flipped. Now, the next thing I want to show you how to do, after fixing those small bits of the roughness and the normal map, is how to 
make a material instance from this. So let's say, oh, that was cool. I want to now be able to double click in it and just have a list of the different textures I can drag in. So this is just a material right now. But if we look at, for example, my dirt has it on. Yeah, dirt has it on. We have material instancing, which will allow you to just drag the texture in instead of having to create a whole new one. So if we right click this and create material instance, which I've shown in the previous video, double click that, right now we'll have nothing. You go into your original material, right click and convert each one to a parameter and then call them what you want. I'm gonna call this color. I'm gonna call this rough. Let's make sure you can read it or make sure the people you're gonna be showing the material to that need to edit it themselves will be able to read it. So most people will know what AO means, normal, rough, color. You can call it roughness if you want to be a bit more accurate. Cool. So now if you look at the instance, we'll have all of them along here. So what I like to do, if I get the instance and let's call this one. So we'll just make this one to word. So we'll call it word test. Now I'm going to throw that straight onto our second one and we're not going to see any change right now. If we go into our wood textures, however, hiding underneath. We can see them all in here. All we gotta do is tick each box, look at which one's first, so AI, grab our AO, albedo, or normal, uh, or color map, sorry. Grab that, pop that into there. Normal map, plug that into there. Roughness, plug that into there. Because we already threw it on this surface, you'll see it's right here. So again, if I undo that, and we actually looked at it as I did it. Go, we'll go albedo first, here at the top, normal third, and roughness last. And boom, you can create as many materials as you want now. Again, uh, Quixel Bridge does have a way to import these way easier by just clicking this plus and going Quixel Bridge, and then you can get a whole new menu that basically allows you to just import them. This is just showing how to set up manually. You may have made your own textures. You may have found textures online that weren't on Quixel Bridge that was on a, another website. And you just want to throw them in and get them set up. This is how you do it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one.